वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आई सी एच क्यू टेन गाइडलाइन एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट द आई सी एच क्यू टेन गाइडलाइन इज ए कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव मॉडल फॉर ए फार्मास्यूटिकल क्वालिटी सिस्टम एप्लीकेबल थ्रू आउट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ ए प्रोडक्ट द आई सी एच क्यू टेन गाइडलाइन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज इट हेल्प्स टू एंश्योर हाई प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस एंड पेशेंट सेफ्टी What is change management or change control as per ICHQ-10? Change management or change control is a systematic approach to proposing, evaluating, approving, implementing, and reviewing changes. What is QRM? That is quality risk management as per ICHQ-10. QRM is a systematic process for the assessment, control, communication, and review of risk to the quality of medicinal drug product across the product life cycle. Corrective action and preventive action both are different and important terminologies used in pharma industry. This question and very next to this question will help you to differentiate between corrective action and preventive action. So question is what is corrective action as per ICHQ-10? Corrective action is an action to eliminate the cause of a detected non-conformity or other undesirable situation. Note corrective action is taken to prevent recurrence. whereas preventive action is taken to prevent occurrence what is preventive action as per icsq10 action to eliminate the cause of a potential non conformity or other undesirable potential situation is preventive action note preventive action is taken to prevent occurrence whereas corrective action is taken to prevent recurrence what are three objectives of icsq10 first achieve product realization second establish and maintain state of control and third facilitate continual improvement what is state of control as per icsq10 state of control is a condition in which set of controls consistently provides assurance of continued process performance and product quality what is quality as per icsq10 quality is the degree to which a set of inherent properties of a product system or process fulfills requirements what are the four important elements of pharmaceutical quality system as per icsq10 the four important elements of pharmaceutical quality system as per icsq10 are first process performance and product quality monitoring system second kappa that is corrective and preventive action third change management system and fourth management review of process performance and product quality how should companies handle kappa according to icsq10 companies should handle kappa as to identify investigate and correct root causes of issues to prevent recurrence that is repeat occurrence what is technology transfer as per icsq10 the goal of technology transfer activities is to transfer product and process knowledge between development and manufacturing and within or between manufacturing sites to achieve product realization this knowledge forms the basis for the manufacturing process control strategy process validation approach and ongoing continual improvement what icsq10 guides about quality policy the four important points for quality policy as per icsq10 are First senior management should establish a quality policy that describes the overall intentions and direction of the company related to quality. Second, the quality policy should include an expectation to comply with applicable regulatory requirements and should facilitate continual improvement of pharmaceutical quality system. Third, the quality policy should be communicated to and understood by personnel at all levels in the company. Fourth, the quality policy should be reviewed periodically for continuing effectiveness what change control management should include as per icsq10 the four important points that should be included or covered in change control management as per icsq10 are first quality risk management second regulatory evaluation third expert team evaluation and fourth post implementation evaluation important question change management system shall be applicable at which stage of product answer is change management system shall be made applicable throughout the product life cycle what are the four stages of product life cycle as per icsq10 pharmaceutical development technology transfer commercial manufacturing and
product discontinuation are the four important stages of product life cycle as per ICH Q10. What management review should provide and what should be included in management review as per ICH Q10? Management review should provide assurance that process performance and product quality are managed over the product life cycle. The important components of management review as per ICH Q10 are regulatory results, periodic quality reviews and follow-up actions. How review of performance of pharmaceutical quality system can be done as per ICH Q10? Review of performance of pharmaceutical quality system can be done for following QMS elements. First, complaint deviation, kappa and change management processes. Second, feedback on outsourced activities. Third, self-assessment processes including risk assessments, trending and audits. And fourth, very important, external assessments such as regulatory inspections and findings and customer audits. For what purpose internal audits should be used in the pharmaceutical industry as per ICH Q10? Internal audits should be used to verify the effectiveness of the quality system and compliance with regulatory requirements. What are the important internal and external factors impacting pharmaceutical quality system as per ICH Q10? Emerging regulations, innovations, change in business environment and change in product ownership are the important internal and external factors that impact pharmaceutical quality system. What is innovation as per ICH Q10? Innovation is the introduction of new technologies or methodologies. What is senior management as per ICH Q10? Senior management is a person or persons who direct and control a company or site at the highest levels with the authority and responsibility to mobilize resources within the company or site. This one is very important question. Question is what are performance indicators as per ICH Q10? A performance indicator as per ICH Q10 is the measurable values used to quantify quality objectives to reflect the performance of an organization. Some important performance indicators in pharma industry are rate of product defects, batch failure rate, customer complaints rate, deviation rate, kappa closure time, on time delivery rate, yield performance, change control effectiveness, regulatory inspection findings and Supplier Quality Performance As per ICH Q10, what are the activities for continual improvement of the pharmaceutical quality system? Management review, monitoring of internal and external factors, outcomes of management review and monitoring are the important activities for continual improvement of pharmaceutical quality system as per ICH Q10. What is pharmaceutical quality system model as per ICH Q10? You can refer below diagram of the ICH Q10 for pharmaceutical quality system model. Last and important question what is document history for ICH Q10 guideline? You can refer below document history for ICH Q10 guideline. Here is the link to download ICH Q10 guideline. You can find it in description box and comment section also. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.